This boy is 12 years of age, and his tics began at 5 years of age. He, too, was diagnosed by a neurologist, and he was diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome, myoclonic epileptic seizures, attention deficit hyperactive disorders, Asperger's syndrome, and acid reflux. His MRI is negative for disc displacement. That doesn't mean to me that he does not have a disc displacement in one or both joints. MRIs are only 74% accurate when they're negative and 92% accurate when they're positive. So even though the MRI cannot pick it up yet, that does not mean he doesn't have it. You have to make your decision on the clinical findings, not on the imaging findings. Other symptoms he reports are blurred vision in the morning, retroorbital pain, which is pain behind one or more eyeballs, photophobia, which means his eyes are sensitive to light, and is very, very frequently found in closed-locked TM joint patients. He complains of tinnitus, nose pain, neck pain, and back pain, pain at the vertex of his skull, numbness of his fingers, swollen lymph nodes since birth. He's got 35 ticks, hopping, punching, kissing himself or others, twirling around, thrusting movements of the groin or torso, perches on his toes like a bird, sexually touches himself, sexually touches others, obscene gestures, breathing ticks, self-injurious behaviors, makes animal-like sounds, stutters and voice changes, cracks neck, back, and chest. He also has eye blinking, head jerks, shoulder shrugs, tossing his hair, squinting, facial grimacing, nose twitching, throat clearing, grunting, sniffing, snoring, squeaking, laughing, touching objects, touching people, smelling fingers, smelling objects, jumping or skipping. This is a view from the right side showing a class one uh, occlusion in the molar bicuspid area. This is his occlusion from the left side, again showing a class 1 dental occlusion. This is this boy's maximum interincisal opening, approximately 46 millimeters. For a person his age, the average in the scientific literature is 54 millimeters. This is a less than normal or impaired vertical opening. This is a 12-year-old young man from Seattle who presents himself for treatment. We're starting his treatment today by delivering an appliance. And you just look into the camera. He's got 35 different ticks from eye blinking, shoulder shrugs, head jerks, brushing or tossing hair, mouth opening, facial grimace, nose twitching, and so on. He's filled out a whole list of, um, uh, of ticks, throat clearing, grunting, Sniffing, snorting, speaking, stuttering sometimes, uh, twirling around, hopping, thrusting movements, etc. And you can see he's, as he's going through some of these ticks, and I haven't mentioned them all, uh, that we want to eliminate them. He's 12 years old and he's in school, right? Okay. Yeah. And you're not aware of girls yet, are you? You will be. Okay, if I fix your ticks and you get too many girlfriends, I get your overflow, okay? That means the extra ones you send to me. Okay. Okay, okay look, and you want to say something to the viewing audience? Anything at all? No. You just hope this works, huh? Yeah. And hopes it works darn quickly, huh? Mm hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to promise you it does because uh, we can help you out very quickly. And we're going to uh, finish polishing up your appliance uh, right now, which is in its final stages of fabrication. And then we're going to see it tomorrow. And we're going to film you tomorrow and the next day to show the improvement already. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. We are putting this appliance in now, really for the first time, on this young man. Okay, Mike. And you, you can notice that it has an immediate effect on his ticks. 
it just brings them to a screeching halt if you've chosen the right position and positioned it correctly. Okay, now we're going to see this boy tomorrow. What time's your appointment? 9.45. Okay, 9.45 will be about 16 or 17 hours from now and you'll we'll see the effect uh, uh, in 16 or 17 hours. Does that hurt you in any way or cause any problems, any strain? You think you'll be able to eat with it, sleep with it, talk with it? Yeah. If it makes you talk funny, which it probably does not, but if it does, you can practice reading out loud. Okay. Get yourself a newspaper or something and read it out loud. It is now 10 o'clock the following morning after the delivery appointment, and we have um, the patient has been wearing this appliance for uh, approximately uh, 16 hours or so. And you can see that his uh, ticks are mostly uh, gone. T tell the viewing audience uh, what your experience has been. Um, I was gonna, I got really good sleep last night. Speak louder, speak. I got good sleep last night, and I like haven't ticked at all, really. So. Okay, that's pretty good for less than one one day. Do you want to say something? Come on back here. And, uh, This is this boy's mother, and she's going to comment on the improvement in the past 24 hours, or the past 16 hours. Well, the first thing that I noticed was the calmness. There wasn't the ADHD symptoms. Um, he seemed very focused, and obviously the tics weren't happening, which is like a miracle for us. Um, he was almost like a different personality. He was very, just very focused is a good way to say it, and calm. I've never seen him so calm. And he slept so good last night. Um, the hotel we're staying at, there's two queen beds. I didn't hear him ticking all night. He, um, I couldn't get him up this morning. It was like trying to get a sloth out of bed, which is not normal for him. He's usually bouncing off the walls. So it was really a miraculous turnaround in his life. I think it's going to change his life forever. So... Yeah. Well, that's excellent. That's a good yeah. endorsement. Good. You're doing all right. We're going to have to send you out to Hollywood. Huh? <laughs> okay. Girls will be throwing themselves in front of your bicycle. So <laughs> go back home. And then this boy returns for his first checkup. Um, he's been wearing it 40 hours now, and you can see from his uh, lack of movement that he's uh, responding well to his treatment. His ticks had returned a little bit, and we've made an adjustment this morning for him. Did you want to say something? Um, not really. Not really? Okay. <laughs> How about you? Are you ready to say something? Um, Do you want to say anything? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely working. Um, I can see already with the adjustment that he's um, returning to uh, no ticks and no ADHD symptoms again. So, that's good. This young man returns, he's been wearing his appliance six days now. And as you can see, his ticks are totally gone. Do you want to say something for the viewing audience? Uh, it's helped a lot. So it helped a lot. <laughs> Speak louder. Speak louder. It helped a lot and I don't tick anymore. So. Okay. You think you've got a girlfriend now? Remember our deal. If you get more girls than you can handle, I get your overflow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's the deal I make with all these young, young guys. <laughs> it hasn't paid off for me yet. Oh, Paula, come on back. Come on up here. Why don't you say something? Um, this has just been a life-changing thing for Dane, and we're just so happy that we came and saw Dr. Stack. It was worth the trek from Seattle. And um, I have just, it's just been amazing to see, like, almost zero ticks, you know, He's just like a different child, and it's even lessened the ADHD symptoms, and he just seems calmer and more focused and able to just, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but he just seems really happy, and it's a lot better. It's changing his life. I can see where it'll help him in school, too.
He's sleeping better. Mm -hmm. Sleeping better. Oh, yeah. It's hard to even get him out of bed in the morning. We were almost late for his appointment today. <laughs> where, where before he was, wasn't was a good sleeper at all, was he? No. no. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. you feel he's had personality changes that are beneficial? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, it's totally different. It's a different child. He's nicer to have around now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Not that he was terrible before, but he was feeling miserable before. And now this has calmed him down. You know, just feels more grounded, I think is a good word. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And focused, too. Yeah. Definitely his health is focus. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. well, you go back to Seattle and tear him up out there, okay? Mm, yeah. We haven't seen, he hasn't had any seizures either. So. Oh, because he was having what kind of seizures? Petty mal seizures? Um, epileptic seizures? Myoclonic. Myoclonic seizures? No, no myoclonic seizures. At all, in the past mm -hmm. six days. Huh? Mm -hmm. And how frequently had he been experiencing those? Um, probably all day long, oh. every hour or so, or just a little, yeah. Okay, well that's a benefit right there in and of itself. Mm -hmm. He's uh, seizure free now. Great. Yeah. So thank you, Dr. Stack. You're more than welcome. Yeah. Get on home, kid. Yeah.